So Ms. Korok, why don't we start this month's financial counseling session with a look at the goals that you set last time, especially the no more video game spending one. How did it work out? Uh, mm. Oh, I know what this means. How many games did you buy? Ten? Ten games? How is that an improvement on your spending habits? I know, I know, but there were really good sales going on and there were great deals and games that I wanted for forever. Let me stop you right there, Ms. Cork. Those are the reasons you name every time. And it's totally fine. We worked that out, that video game collecting is your hobby and it's fine that you have a certain budget for that every month. But it was your goal to not spend any money on video games this month and the month after because there were certain reasons for that. Should we go over them again? Yes, maybe. So the first one is that you're moving very soon and you want to save up a little money and therefore spend less on your hobbies. But it's also not just financial reasons. You did not want to accumulate more stuff that you have to transfer over from one flat to the next. Another reason was that you're running out of storage and wanted to come up with a new storing solutions for your collection before adding new titles to it. But at least I can make a video about all the games. This might be right, but as you're not monetizing your videos, this is not helpful for your financial situation. And as those are games that were purchased in the month of August, and it's already October, I am assuming that you procrastinated creating that video. Do you want to do it now? Sounds good to me. Yeah, I don't have the feeling that this is helping a lot anyways. Yeah, I know! Oh. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new haul video and today we want to take a look at all my August, September, October uh, Nintendo game pickups. And there were a few and there were too many as you might have guessed from the sketch from the beginning. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I'm still happy that I have uh, new additions to my collection and I want to talk to you guys about that and I hope you enjoy it too. So grab a cup of tea, sit down, have a cozy time and let's do this. And um, there will be also chapters for all the games down below. So if you are impatient and you cannot wait to see one certain game, uh, you can just go down there and take a look. Okay, let's start with DS and 3DS and then uh, come to the Switch games later. Um, okay, the first one is a retro game for the Nintendo DS and it's the Sonic Classic Collection. I uh, got that because I was playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles uh, when I was younger on the PC. I never had a console when I was younger, but we had a PC and uh, my, uh, my dad actually bought uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles for me and him and we were playing it. I was really, really bad. I think I never made it. Um, across like the, the, or over the, the third or fourth stage um, and also the bonus level I never checked what you had to do there but I really enjoyed it and it brings back a lot of memories and I don't know why I think I was watching the um, Scott the Voss video about Sonic and then I thought okay I really want this game in my collection again because I have uh, memories about that I want to play it again I try it out and I looked up what would be the best version to get that the easiest version for me to get and play nowadays and yeah so i decided to get the ds version because it's also portable and that's it and i think it was 10 euros on ebay so this was really cheap this was one of the cheapest games the other games were not that cheap Oh yeah, especially this one was not cheap at all. <laughs> it's Monster Hunter Stories. And as you know, I'm kind of a perfectionist, completionist gamer and uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2 was coming out on the Nintendo Switch. And um, I was thinking about playing the series. I want, uh, wanted to give it a try because the original Monster Hunter is not completely my cup of tea. I enjoy playing it with friends, but it's a little bit too complex at some times. I always, it, it feels more like a hassle and chores uh, to craft all the different equipment items to then do all the hunts and um, yeah it's the entry level is quite high I have the feeling that all people around me are much 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 more informed about what to do and how to do it and played many 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 more hours 
So I thought, hey, maybe this would be perfect to get into the world of Monster Hunter. And yeah, as I'm a completionist, I want to play the first incarnation in a series first before I play the later ones. And therefore I had to get it for the 3DS. And this was hard and this was really expensive. I think this was 40, 50 euros, 45, 50 euros. And I was looking it up a few months ago and prices have, they were rising. And I think this was because, um, yeah, the second one was coming out and people wanted to play the first one for the 3DS. So everyone was getting it or everyone was um, selling uh, the market and, and the, the market was quite empty for that. But I think I was deciding then, okay, I want to play this game. I want to have it for my collection. I want to get the second one uh, later then for the Switch. And I think prices will only go up. I don't think they will go down again. I think they will go up because this was quite a rare game, especially in, in, in Germany and Europe. I think not a lot of people played that game and not a lot of people bought that game. <laughs> and therefore prices will, uh, I guess, not go down anytime soon. And f maybe not for in forever, because why? Because there's no new stock coming in into the, the, the bubble, so to say. So I decided um, to get it as soon as possible, just so I don't have to pay even more expensive prices later, because this those 45 to 50 euros, this was already cheap. Or like, this this was a good price compared to all the other uh, auctions that I saw on eBay and uh, the prices that people wanted there for that. So yeah, I decided to get it. I haven't played it yet, but I want to, of course. <laughs> and yeah, I haven't gotten the second one for the Switch yet because um, I still, first, I want to play that. And as you noticed in the beginning, I actually want to spend less money on video games over the na next few months because I'm moving. I'm getting my own studio, my own little YouTube nook where I can set everything up for streaming and just sit down and start streaming, start filming videos, editing, having fun, playing and I'm so happy about that. This will be oh, this will be the best, best thing ever happening. Um, but yeah, um, this is not this comes not for free. I have to spend money on the move itself and also on the lease and, and down payment. Not, I'm not buying the place, but I don't know what, what the right word is now in English, but like the security, the security deposit. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of money and also some new furniture and some equipment and da 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 da. So it's not the best time to spend a lot of money on, on video games. This is why I actually did the no buy in September and I think I, I made it. I bought one game at the end, but I think it was already October, which does not make sense because the money I did not spend in September, if I spent all of it in October, then I did not save anything, but yeah, it was just one game. We're talking about that later. It's not Nintendo, it's PlayStation, but yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go on. <laughs> VioRare Gold. I love VioRare. I have all the VioRares. I collected them uh, over the past few months. I think I found the first VioRare or had like my first um, contact with VioRare like one and a half or two years ago uh, as a retro game. Um, it was the first one from the Game Boy Advance, uh, Shake It Up. No, it wasn't Shake It Up, there was a Wii version. How was it called? Just Warrior Ink, I think. And I loved it. Micro games? Perfect. Perfect for my ADHD brain. So I always wanted to um, um, get more of them. And of course, I, all, I still want to get Switch game, but I decided no, spending 60 euros or 50, uh, but I think it was 60 uh, on a full-fledged new title. This is not in my budget this month. Um, I will not do it. But I found this for 13 or 14 euros and I was eyeing that. I wanted to have Bioware Gold for a long, long time, but didn't want to pay full price or even 30 euros for it. And when I found it brand new on Amazon for 13 euros, including shipping, I was like, okay, I'm not getting the Switch game, but I'm treating myself to this one. And this is why I got Bioware Gold and I think I will get the Switch version maybe for Christmas or in the beginning of next year. And as you can see, this was also reduced. This was in the in the bargain bin, so to say. Um, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. I enjoyed Animal Crossing so much on the Switch. Um, and my goddaughter was visiting. I was owning this game beforehand, but I decided to give it to her because she also enjoys Animal Crossing very much and she only has a 3DS and, uh, or 2DS, new 2DS XL, and uh, no Switch. Um, and therefore I gave it to her. But before she was coming to me again, visiting me in August, I decided, okay, I will get this for myself. It's just 15 euros. And if we would like, we can play it together and try it out. But as you can see, as it's still sealed, we did not do that. But yeah, I won't have anything Animal Crossing in my collection. So not, not regretting that. 
Okay, and we can go over to the Switch games. And there's another bargain one. Um, this was only 10 euros. It's moving out. It's uh, by the creators of uh, Overcooked. And my boyfriend loves Overcooked. He, he loves it too much, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I found this in the bin as well with the, with the Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer one. And he plays so much Overcooked. He tries to get four stars in every level with uh, one of his best friends. Uh, they play it online on the PlayStation. And... They played it for hours and hours. I think he has like 50 or 60 uh, hours in uh, Overcooked too. I cannot play Overcooked anymore with him because he's too competitive in that. He's too perfectionist and it's not fun. It's not fun anymore. I cannot do it. We finished the first one together. We played Overcooked 1 together and finished it um, and all the way through. But Overcooked 2, I leave it to him and his friends and they can let their crazy out there alone and not with me but yeah I thought um, moving out um, it's supposed to not be as good as Overcooked but it looks kind of similar in the sense of it's quirky and plays with physics and it's also quite to the theme of me moving out of this flat quite soon and moving to a new one <laughs> and yeah for 10 euros I thought hey this is, this is nice a physical switch game that we might enjoy for 10 euros I, I could not leave it at a store I had to get it Oh, and a friend of mine was visiting. Um, she is working in Tunisia right now, so she's, she's not uh, here all the time, but she's part of my uh, Switch Nintendo uh, gaming gang, and uh, I really like her so much. And um, she was visiting, so she was there and another friend, and we were in the city, we were having five guys and, and having burger and just meeting up. And so we were at Saturn together, so this is where I got those two. And I was in a splurging mode I, I just wanted to get stuff for me and yeah I got new Pokemon Snap because I really really wanted it but uh, I was thinking about the move already and thought no this is a nice game and this is a cute game and this is, is a Pokemon game I really really needed for my collection of course but I don't have to get it not even day one but also not month one or year one I will just get it later enjoy it later and um, but yeah it looked so cute and also the new update was out for it at, at that moment I think or was a little before that but um, yeah so I decided to get Pokemon Snap uh, because I really wanted it and it wasn't used I think it was also on sale for only 40 or 45 euros so I said yeah come home with me baby I want you Okay, the next one was inspired by a fellow YouTuber um, that I really enjoy watching. And uh, yeah, it's a, a casual gamer. And she blew up over the past few months with her casual gaming videos. And she has such a calming and soothing voice. And I really, really like that. So I'm so happy for her that her channel is so big now. And yeah, and she was uh, talking about my time at Porsche. Because this game, I, 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 I have, uh, had seen this before quite quite a lot and always was like okay I want to get it someday 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 but I always thought it was only a, um, a digital one but then I saw the physical version um, and but it was quite expensive so usually when it's like that and I think yeah maybe I will get it later in a bin somewhere and I will get the physical version but not a digital one because I'm a physical collector and um, yeah Turns out it's it's one of those uh, like like the the, the the Monster Hunter 2 one. I think it did not sell that that much in Europe, and it's not you cannot find it in store that much again, and also not online. So um, prices are rising, and um, it came out on mobile. So I bought it for like six euros on mobile, so I can play it. But of course, I also wanted to collect it because she said it's one of, it's one of her um, favorite games and it's really cute and it's fun and it's a Stardew Valley uh, themed, um, yeah, I mean, OG credits go to um, Harvest Moon, but um, yeah, a game inspired by that. And so I bought that for like 29, 30 euros, which is okay, but it's still more expensive than I thought that I would pay for that. And I think it's even more expensive than what you would pay on the eShop, but I still wanted it for the collection. And I got a used copy on eBay. So this is maybe not the smartest, smartest uh, uh, buying decision, but this is a pure collection, pure collection purchase. I think even if I play it now, I will play it on my tablet because I think the tablet version is running better uh, and my tablet and my phone are more performative than my Switch. So, yeah. But I have it now. Yay! And yeah, even though I already spent so much money on games in that month, there was a free for two sale at our local, uh, yeah, Saturn is it called. So it's, a, it's like Best Buy, but in Germany. And um, yeah, as 
as I wanted a few games and just those are always the best uh, um, uh, best discounts when you get free games for the price of two. Uh, I thought, okay, come. Mm -hmm. And um, I got one f uh, game for a friend because I wanted to give it to her for her birthday. So um, yeah, that was fine. So one game and two games for me, so to say. And but but then I noticed it was only the the the, the Nintendo titles. So there were no third parties included, and not all the games because I was always uh, also thinking about. Neo, um, the, the World Wins with you, then the new Switch game of that because I was thinking about getting those as well. But unfortunately, it was not part of the of the of the discount, so I could not get it. It was not part of the promotion. And yeah, then I thought, okay, Mario Golf, Super Golf, uh, Super Rush. It's a Mario game. I want to have all the Mario games. Therefore, I got it because this is quite new. It was quite new, brand new out then, and um, maybe not, maybe it was a month old, but one of the newer games and almost still full price. So I compared prices online and thought, okay, okay, I will give it a try. Even though I'm not, I played golf once. I, I tried it out and I really enjoyed it, but not not in virtual, so to say, maybe Wii Sports, of course I did it. But um, yeah, actually I, I want to try it out. Maybe this is fun. <laughs> this could be fun and a little bit of movement because you have the, the, the motion motion controls again. But I did not open this because I wanted to do it for the video, so to say, and on video, but I'm opening now and maybe I'm playing it tonight. So yeah, I know not a lot of people bought that and <laughs> it's golf, it's Mario Golf, but um, I'm happy to have it for the collection. And of course it was quite cheap because of the, the promotion. And I got a Pokemon Studio Dungeon. Um, yeah, it's a Pokemon game. I wanted to try it out. I have the OG version for the um, Game Boy Advance, actually, as a, as a physical version. So yeah, again, would not have needed that to try out the game and play the game, but um, wanted it for the collection and I think it will be so much more fun and uh, yeah, quite nice on the Switch. And my boyfriend and I are really enjoying Pokemon a lot. We're playing a lot of Pokemon Go and also Pokemon Unite on the Switch. I really like that. And yeah, we're quite big Pokemon nerds and <laughs> therefore I just thought it would be fun for him and also for me to play and try out and this is why I got it in the promotion as one of my free games. So yeah, number 10 is the most recent one. I got it uh, in October already, I think. And it was Kena um, for the PS5. And I already started playing that. I will continue playing it after the video uh, with my friend Chaz again. <laughs> and uh, I really like this game. I really like the atmosphere. I uh, like how you have to get better and learn the techniques because it's quite pleasant and the gameplay itself, it's easy in the sense of it's not that complicated to find the mysteries and everything. And oh my God, the rods, they are so cute. They are the cutest. I love them. <laughs> but um, I think the fights are not super, super easy. They really have a learning curve and you need to master those techniques to have a better time in that. And I enjoy that. I actually thought something like that would be too hard for me, but I actually enjoy it. And yeah, so um, the only thing I do not enjoy is that I bought it full price. Um, but yeah, this was after one month of me not getting any fresh and new games and also I had like half a bottle of wine, I think. Oops, don't tell anyone. Um, and then I was like, okay, I want this game, I get this game. Oh, it was the night of the last Nintendo Direct. Yeah, and I was staying up late and watching all, with all my other friends and therefore I was like, oh, come on, why waiting? I could, I could just drink some wine and then we'll talk about K9 and I'm like, oh no. I'm getting it. I'm just getting it. <laughs> and then we're watching the direct and it was hilarious. It was a fun evening. I really liked that. So this was my video game haul for uh, autumn 2021, September mostly, but also a little bit of October and mixed in there, here and there, in between. Da, da, da. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. And if you want to hear more about some of the games, just let me know. And yeah, stay healthy, stay safe and take care and all the best to you wherever you are and from wherever you're watching and thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>